There we go. Fish on. Big fish. Big fish, guys. What in the world is that? I'm gonna have to chase him. I'm gonna have to chase him. What's going on, everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here, and welcome back to another fishing adventure. When looking for adventure, don't have to tell me twice. We won't surrender. I can see it in your eyes. I am very excited for this episode because we are heading back to the spillway of personal bests. And I am now calling it that because on each of the last four trips out there, I have caught a new personal best fish. I am hoping we can continue the streak today. I've never actually caught anything out of this larger spillway, but on a recent outing out here, a subscriber showed me pictures of some really nice fish him and his son caught from beneath this spillway. So I'm going to give it another try. Hopefully we can hook into something. I've actually not had much luck at these spillways with cut bait in the past, so I did not bring many options. I brought a couple pieces of carp and shad, and along with that, of course, I brought some night crawlers. I've had most of my luck with lures, so I brought plenty of those. There's a ton of seagulls over here, which tells me that there are shad being swept over this spillway. There should be some big predatory fish hunting those shad as well. I've got a night crawler on this rod, and I'm gonna toss around this curly tail grub on my other rod. guys no way please stay on oh how am I gonna get him across this current this is a big fish holy cow he's hooked on the other side of the rapids I don't know how I'm gonna get him guys please stay on this is gonna be difficult I might have to face him What in the world did we hook into? Holy smokes. Man, he is heavy. Oh, he's running. He's running. There's so many snacks down there. What in the world is that? I'm gonna have to chase him. I'm gonna have to chase him. This is a big fish. Oh, trying to get him in this slack water. Oh, I gotta be careful. Oh, he's going down the rapids. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh my gosh, okay. He's right here on the bank. Oh, no way. Yes, 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 yes. You guys, I just caught a really nice channel catfish. He actually went for the grub. No way. Look at how dark this fish is. Look at how far. I had to run down. This guy got swept up in the rapids. What a beast. This is not going to be a new person to buy this channel catfish, but let's go ahead and get a weight on him. Just over eight pounds. One of the biggest channel cats that I've ever caught. See you later, buddy. Yes. I am still in shock that that just happened. That is the first fish that I've caught beneath this spillway. I knew there had to be nice fish out there beneath its surface, but we finally caught one. Not only was that a really nice channel catfish, but that was an epic fight that started right around here and ended up way down there. 
awesome. Well guys, I've got a mouse right here. It looks like he's trying to maybe get inside my backpack, so I'm gonna go ahead and move it. I don't know what he's up to. Let's see if we can catch another fish. It's been a while since I caught that catfish and I have not gotten a single bite on the night crawler. I think it's time to toss out a more serious bait. Let's toss out this big old drum head. That is a monster bait. Here we go. All right, it has been a while since my last bite and my only bite, so I am going to change up locations. Okay, we have made it to the spillway of personal bests. Like I said, the last four trips out to this spillway has resulted in a personal best each and every single time. I don't know if that streak is going to continue, but I'm very excited to see what we can hook into. Most of the fish that I've caught beneath this spillway has come from a curly tail grub. So that is what I'll start with. I am actually a bit surprised. I did not have a single bite with any of the lures. I think it's time to try a night crawler. Hopefully this uh, big weightless night crawler does the trick. This is crazy guys. It's almost like all of the fish have disappeared. Last time I was here, it was freezing cold. Today it's nowhere near as cold, but the fish have seemingly disappeared. All right, guys, I think something has the night crawler. Here we go. There we go, fish on. Oh, nice fish. Oh my gosh, please stay on. This is sizable. I was beginning to lose hope. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. It's a channel cat, it's a nice one. He is tangled up in the line. Oh, please stay on. Please stay on, please stay on, please stay on. Oh, my lure is tangled up in my net. This is a mess. This is a mess. <gasps> He's off. No. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. What a disaster. What a disaster. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh, that's so frustrating. I dropped my rod to pick up the nightcrawler pole and I just so happened to drop it into the net and my lure got tangled. Oh, darn. Oh man, what a gigantic fail. All right, I've got a fresh nightcrawler rigged up. Hopefully we get another chance. I knew there still had to be fish down there. I'm upset that I lost that guy, but that is a huge motivator. All right guys, so let me pick it up again. They have the night crawler. Here we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Feels decent. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. See if we can land this guy. Oh man, he's a fighter. In the net, there we go. Yes. Not quite as big as the one I lost, but I will take it. See you later, buddy. After being out here all day, it feels good to catch another fish, especially since I lost that decent one right out there. I don't have too much time left, but let's try to catch another. I actually changed things up just a little bit to catch that last fish. I was originally fishing the Nightcrawler weightless, but I actually added this little split shot on there to help it sink a little bit quicker and stay in a little bit better of position, and it worked. So uh, let's, uh, let's see if we can get lucky again.
Unfortunately, we have run out of time. I fished as long as I possibly could and uh, it's dark out. Unfortunately, we were not able to catch another fish, but uh, honestly, I'm not complaining because we were able to catch a couple catfish, had a chance at a third, but of course it got away. Overall, I had a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed watching, I'd appreciate it if you left a thumbs up, possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. I will catch you guys on the next one. When looking for redemption, but to my surprise, heard it from the congregation, long way from paradise. All right, guys, I've got my fishing buddy right here giving me good luck. Let's see when catch another fish. Oh.